Body, I know I'm almost done, man. We've almost got this. I've been spending like every day trying to get this house built. And all you do is just sit there and look at me. I've got to replace a few more floors. How long has this turtle been here? Body, do you hear something? I'm pretty sure I hear something. What's up y'all and welcome back to another episode of All The Mods 8. Today we are going to be getting into auto crafting with refined storage in preparation for one of the coolest ideas I've had for a video. I'm really excited to get into auto crafting refined storage because it makes the game so much better because you don't have to spend all your time in a crafting menu. You could actually build crazy builds like this. Honestly, this isn't that crazy. It's really just a big square with some stuff added to it. Well, technically it's a rectangle. What is it? All squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares or something like that. Before I get talking about all of this stuff that I've built so far, I just gotta say thank you guys so much for the three thousand subs i appreciate you thank you so much and as always if you guys are enjoying these videos it helps a ton it makes my day like i love just oh my god it blows my mind every time i look at my youtube everything is going so well and i love it i love this series everybody loves body i guess Maybe. I'm not going to lie. I've read the comments where people get tired of body. Don't worry. He gets on my nerves too, but he's still a star in my book. So let's get started. The first thing we should probably talk about is this base, because I'm sure a lot of people are going to be like, oh, look at Alfred. He's played offline. He played and built a house all offline without recording any of it, without doing anything. This was actually a huge test for me. I am um, one. I wanted to test my building skills so I could do a couple of different things with all this. But two, uh, I really wanted to see if I can record with a second account because I have a second account because I actually wanted to record myself and do something like a time lapse. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. It did not work out. I'm just I have to put this world on a server and that's the part that makes it difficult. And there's a lot of land issues with modded Minecraft in general. So just so you know, it didn't work out like I wanted it to. But there's some really cool things here. I am actually really proud of this build. And um, this is really kind of just the entrance. I want to do a lot more with this. I want to do some exciting things with this, like give people a redeem or something so they can put their name in here, like something with my Twitch stream, you know? So if you're interested in something like that, or if you'd love to see your name somewhere in here, or if you'd love to see some kind of recognition for my community, I actually love having interaction with my viewers. So I'm hundred percent down. Just if you got an idea, if you'd like to do something, just let me know. So first off, you might be wondering why we built all this. Well, I am honestly just think this is incredibly ugly out here like really ugly this just looks really bad oh also i forgot to mention i changed my gooey size so that way you guys can actually see my gooey here or you can actually see what's going on i know i've heard a couple of people talk about that they are having a hard time seeing it and honestly it's not too big of a deal for me to just make it a little bit bigger but if you want it bigger than this i'm sorry it's not gonna happen it just can't happen what did i just pick up are these fish still over here dying Oh no. So our goal for the first part of this is to move all of this stuff over here into our base, but I'm not done with this yet. I'm not done. We just put some stairs down. I built these little walls, did some little textures and stuff. And if you guys are actually interested on like my design and how I do these things or how I came to this, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've watched a bunch of videos about building on being like how to make it look better, how to make things like match, how to add detail like this. And there's actually a lot of really simple tricks that you can do to really make your builds pop. And one of the things that I was learning the most is basically like add stairs to things. Just add stairs. There's some chisel blocks that you can do that are like connecting. Like I have some right here in my hand. These these connect as they go together. You can actually check this out using the chisel mod here. So if you click this right here and put in a block, you can actually click this connected textures. You see mine's on. And if you do three by three, it'll show you what it looks like when it's connected. So this is what I've used for a lot of different things. But yeah, this is actually pretty cool. Another tip that I've always been taught a bunch is 
well, just add some texture. So what I did was you just take the block, whatever that you got and add like a brick to it or add some kind of other, like if there's like polished cut calcite. So I was like, okay, calcite bricks, cut calcite bricks, do it. This is also pretty cool, the frame glowstone. You can make frame blocks using the stone cutter. If I come over here and type in framed, there should be like some changing ones like this. It's inside of the architects cutter right here. You could just mix two blocks together and it'll give you like an option to do it. And this is just glowstone plus uh, I think it's deep slate tiles. It's awesome. I want to figure out something to put in this. I think I'm gonna put water in this and make this like an aquarium, but uh, we'll see later on. So this is my unfinished part of the base, but y'all here, like there's like a lot of skeletons up the top, like legit a lot of skeletons up top. We're gonna have to deal with that. But I just moved some stuff over here and I kind of wanted to make like a hallway and stuff and make this work together. And I'm not exactly sure on the design that I want to do here, but these these are prepping rooms right now. These are rooms that I'm going to prep for later. And this is the room we're going to do today. Uh, this is going to be our server room. We're going to make this today. We're going to turn this into a server room. I'm really excited about it. This is going to be where our auto crafting stuff is going to be set up and I'm really happy with it. So that's going to happen today. We'll worry about this stuff a little bit later. And I'll worry about this walls and stuff a little bit later because I'm sure nobody wants to just watch somebody literally place blocks on the walls and stuff all day, right? Right? Isn't that what Minecraft technically is? Wait a second. Okay. So while I was taking some of this away with the destruction gadget. Oh, look at these guys. These guys uh, started going crazy. These guys were just going up a storm or going crazy up here there's spiders there's lots of things up here so i'm just gonna block all this off hey kill 50 skeletons dude this is actually kind of crazy four spot this whole time i was looking for spawners like last episode we literally made a skeleton spawner and here we are a skeleton spawner right above us like what look at all these spawners i'm just gonna take them and then we got some loot what we got in here i forgot batania's back I keep forgetting about that. I saw the mana still and I'm like, hello? Oh, there really wasn't anything and kind of worth it. I'm going to be honest with you. There's a backpack in here. Just a backpack and a Lexica Batana. We got a Lexica Batania. I'll take that. Was there one in here and I just missed it? There's three in here and I missed it. Who? What is wrong with my eyes? Wee. Wait, hello? Wee. I said wee. Go down. So we're going to finish building this out. That's going to be the first thing. So I guess you guys can get to see a little bit of what I do when I build things out and how I do it. First thing is I like to make things like I like to make things odd numbers. So like this is seven wide right here. Technically, it's nine wide all the way across. And then we I like to have that middle piece as like a, a way to show like, hey, this is the middle. I like that. I'm just going to grab my destruction tool because this makes it super easy. What I'll do is I'll break this and then I'm just going to right click this and it should delete it all the way out here. Yep, we could just delete this whole area right here. We're just going to delete this area. I just didn't want to do this with the skeletons up top because that would not be good. I need to make body a house too. That'd be real nice. All right, so I think that levels it out. To make easy or to make building a whole lot easier, use this tool. It's called an exchanging gadget. I think I've showed it before, but like it just makes replacing walls and everything just so much easier. You just click and change it all. As long as you have the blocks, of course. And it also gives you everything. So it's like really easy to get a bunch of materials. I'll oh, have to make some more calcite soon. And now I'm just gonna line the outside of this or this whole top side over here like this with stairs. It gives it more depth and I personally like that. So yeah, let me just go ahead and finish building real quick and I'll record it so that way y'all can kind of see little snippets and, and I'll show you guys how I build this so that way we can get started. Yeah, somebody told me that if you walk up and right click with a pickaxe, you're supposed to get the ore off their back. Maybe it's because I have torches in my hand. Shift right click, left click. Oh, I wonder if they regrow this. Like, does he just regrow it or is that just kind of it for him? See, much better, much better. All you got to do is start playing with some stairs. Apparently that's like the biggest thing that you could do to make things a lot better looking is just play with stairs. All right, we'll play with this a little bit more. We got to get started with this actual stuff because I'm sure people, you know, want to see how to do refined storage. So since that's going to be our server room, I don't actually mind having this over here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take these two out 
And this is gonna be kind of our main storage system right here. So we have two options to connect a storage room over there. We have two ways we could do this. We could either make another network transmitter, stick it right here, and then have a receiver inside of there. I think it's ultimately what I'm gonna end up doing because this looks pretty snazzy as it is. I could just run cable all the way over here, which would, you know, be a whole lot cheaper, but I'm pretty sure we have like a ton of ancient debris, right? Hold on, do we not have a ton of ancient debris? Hello? Oh. I'm, I'm dumb. I wasn't connected to it. That's why, because I broke it. Okay, we got a ton of ancient debris. So I could actually just take this, question mark. And since we have a lot, I'm just going to go ahead and smelt it. Oh, forgot to mention, all you need to have in all the modium furnace. We should have made this a lot, a lot sooner. The all the modium furnace is insane. It takes some all the modium blocks, which we had. We went and we got a bunch of when the mining dimension, but you just need a netherite furnace, right? So I just went ahead and upgraded everything. So what you could do is you go to iron... I, like iron furnaces, you could type in the whole thing, or you could just type in iron and then type in two, and then it'll give you all these upgrades right here. You just type in upgrade as well. So we went, I can't, I think it was like we were obsidian, right? So we went obsidian to netherite, which just took some netherite. That's what was holding us back. And then we went from this to all the modium, I believe it is. So we just upgraded twice. Yeah, so we that's all, that's literally all it was, which you just need some netherite for it. And I didn't realize it could take a scrap. Wow, I didn't know that. That recipe is kind of wild. Yeah, so we have a ton. I'm not really going to worry about it. I think I already have some smelted. We'll get a crusher set up a little bit later. This is why I keep these network, like this stuff over here, very easy to get to because it's pretty pretty nice to have the recipes like right there ready to go. So we're going to need a network receiver and we're going to need a network transmitter and then we're going to need a network card. So we have one network card already set up for somewhere else, but I want to put this in here. And basically the way I want to do this is I want to have a wall of receivers. So that way I can say, hey, you know, I don't have this massive wall that's randomly placed everywhere else. So what I want to do is I'm going to put the receiver somewhere right here. So if I put the receiver, let's see, the middle block, there's no middle block right here. Whoa, no. Oh, I have messed up. That's okay. We'll just make a wall like right here. Or we'll make the wall like right here. This will be our networking wall. So we'll start right here and this could be our receiver right here. That's fine. This could be the center part. And then from here, you take a blank network card, right click it, and then we'll just go right back to our stuff over here. And instead of this being this transmitter that we need, we're gonna put this one here. So what this does is that this now links to our system here. And I believe if this is the case, we can actually come over here and this is where we can start our transmitter walls, right? So we can transmit a signal that we get from that receiver. So let's say if we have these two transmitters right here, we go put a network card into there, put a network card in there. And then with some cables, we can go ahead and come over here and this should connect. And now we should be to our system. So now we can create a wall of transmitters whenever we need to make some wireless crafting or whatever. Like if we want to set up a wireless system like we did with the demons, we can make a wall of it right here so it's not taking up a massive space over there. But I want to get into auto crafting. This, this block right here is just basically what I want to do for setting up like a server room, like I said, for this wireless stuff. Everything else is also going to be connected to this. And I'm going to have like a crafting kind of wall here. And this is going to be where I want like auto crafting, some, like some very specific things. So before we get started into some auto crafting, we need to make a couple of different things. The most important thing that you're going to need for this entire system is actually called a pattern grid. You're going to need a grid, some advanced processors and patterns. Patterns, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, you might as well make a bunch of these because you're going to need a bunch of them. So I'm going to go ahead and make this grid real quick. All right. There's one grid and I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys, go ahead and make you two because you're going to need some later. And look, it's already asking us about auto crafting and stuff. It's one of the quests. I forgot that I redid all the questing and stuff in here. So yeah, you get some extra goodies if you come in here. Look, some quartz and rich iron, some basic processors and stuff. So if you're like me and you've done this for a little while, there's a bunch of free goodies in here if you just open up your quest book like I do. And this actually takes you into all about crafting and everything too. So if you if you get lost in my video, I made this quest line for people to be able to know how to do these things. So if, like I said, if you need any extra help and I'm not around, check out the quest line. It'll guide you pretty well. Okay, we should have everything now. Let's go ahead and make that pattern grid. We can stick this other grid in here and I'm actually going to make a crafting. We want to make a crafting monitor and a crafting manager. So maybe I should have made three grids. Oh, no, the crafting monitor doesn't even need a grid. Cool. So crafting monitor. Cool. What about the crafting manager? You just need two crafters plus this. Let's just go ahead and make these crafters and then I'll explain them a little bit later. Now we should have a crafting monitor, a pattern grid and a crafting manager or a crafter manager rather. So what I'm actually going to do is what we'll do over here is we'll just put we'll put our crafting monitor right here and then we'll put our crafting manager right here and then we can come out here 
And then I'm actually gonna put my pattern grid out here, right on top of this spot, because this one I would actually prefer to have out here, because this is probably where I'm gonna do most of my crafting. So essentially, auto crafting is honestly not that hard. I mean, I literally had never done auto crafting up until I played all in mod seven, and then in all the mod seven, I actually learned how to do auto crafting with refined storage, and it's actually really easy. So at base, you have these patterns, and these patterns will basically store a recipe that you want to make. My first suggestion is always to get the pattern recipe as your first recipe. The thing that you have to think about is that when you make these patterns, first off, I suggest on turning off exact because most of the time it's a pain. The reason why I say take off exact is if we go and look at this pattern recipe, we see how these the glass is changing. Well, if the if it takes another kind of glass, you want it to be able to not have exact on. So if you had that other kind of glass, but you were out of Minecraft glass, it would still use it instead. You know, that's also just dependent on whatever you're doing. So all I did there was I took, and if I take this pattern right here, turn off exact, you put the pattern in the top, you click on create, and it will now store the pattern. Now we have the pattern storage inside of here. Now there is a trick you can actually do with this. If I come over here and I type in wood or I type in oak, let's say I wanna make myself oak chests as a recipe. If I take all this oak I have in here, and this is the oak recipe here, this is gonna make us oak chests if you have the quirk recipe stuff enabled. So if I click here, now we have the oak chest enabled. If I hold shift, it actually shows you what the pattern has. Now, considering that this is a pattern holding a pattern, well, you're not gonna be able to hold shift and show it. So if I hold shift, this does show us that crafting pattern is a chest. I actually don't like these chests personally. So if I go and I say make one of those chests, so if I open up this grid right here and then I go back in here and type in log and I make those oak chests so that way I can have it, I wanna turn this back into a regular chest. So from here, I can come over here and stick this in here and then get the recipe for that oak chest or that single Minecraft chest. And then I'm gonna just shove this back into my inventory. When you're making these patterns, like let's go back to the pattern recipe itself. One of the easiest ways to make a pattern is just by clicking on the plus. And if you're inside of the pattern grid, it pulls the pattern down here. The thing that you have to think about with auto crafting is do I have or does the machine know how to craft everything that's inside of this? And if it doesn't, do I have all the materials to craft it. Let's say you have a bunch of materials and you request 64 of these, or you want 64 of these, and you want refined storage to make you 64, you have to have enough quartz enriched iron to do it. Now, if it doesn't know how to make quartz enriched iron, it just won't do it. But if you don't have enough quartz enriched iron and it does know how to make it, and you have a pattern for it, it'll actually go ahead and make it for you and just craft upwards. It's kind of confusing because whenever you first look into this, you're like, oh, you know, I have enough glass, what's going on? You'll eventually get into where you want to auto craft everything, which is amazing in my opinion. I think it's dope. So like I said, we're, we're gonna go ahead and grab that quartz enriched iron recipe. Very simple, just like this. Each and every one of these recipes can be broken down, which is kind of cool. So like, for example, iron ingots, if I come over here and click on smelting and then I find raw iron here and I click this, this one it says, okay, if I find raw iron in my inventory somewhere in here and I'm out of iron ingots in general and it needs to make me some, if a crafter is set up to be a processing crafter, like let's say set up to a furnace, it will take raw iron out of your system smelt it down and then pull iron back in. And then that way you can use iron for recipes if you're out, which is pretty cool. I'm not gonna do this because I'm gonna set this up in a different way later. To get started with crafting, you're gonna need a crafter, which we see, we got some extra things here we're gonna need to make. We're just gonna start with the most basic crafter. You had to make this to make the crafting manager, but we're gonna start with this, it's just basic. So you can place this pretty much anywhere. And as long as it's connected to your system, you can put patterns inside of it. I'm gonna put this this pattern right here, The iron, this is the quartz enriched iron in here. And I'm also gonna put the pattern pattern in here. I'm gonna hold the chest stuff for now. So the base crafter at the top, you can see how it says occupied space, two out of nine, so it holds nine slots. And the current speed is one, which means it's slow. You can put speed upgrades on the side if you want to, and uh, I suggest on it, or you could just upgrade the crafter so it goes iron, gold, diamond, and the netherite. So if you have the stuff for it, definitely upgrade it. But I'm gonna work off this base stuff right now just to kind of show you so you can get a gist of it. So to start with, I actually want to get all of the patterns that it would require to make us a crafter, right? So that way I can just request a crafter and it make me one. So if we go and we grab the recipe for a crafter, we need to break this down and to understand what it takes to make a crafter. So we have the quartz enriched iron recipe, but we have machine casings, advanced processors, destruction core and construction core. Thankfully, this is not too bad, except for you have a couple of these that are smelted. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to hit A on these, so that way I can make sure we have the recipe up here in the corner. 
and then we can get these individual recipes here. So construction core, destruction core is pretty simple. These two just require basic processors and either glowstone, and I believe it's glow, yeah, it's glowstone and nether quartz. So those are the two things that it require. So if you have a bunch of already smelted basic processors, this recipe should work for now. But I also want to teach this thing to be able to smelt us some items down, which is pretty important. Let's go ahead and grab the machine casing recipe here which is again, quartz enriched iron. Machine already knows how to make that or will know how to make that when we get over there. And all that leaves is our processors. So let me show you how to do this. We wanna take, and first, we're gonna to need to get the basic processor as well. Like this one right here is a processing one, so it's gotta go into a furnace, but we also need this raw basic processor one right here. This one's going to be just a normal crafting one. But as you see, we have some extra things in here too. Like this processor binding needs to be crafted. So another crafting recipe. See how this is stacking up? We're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna grab the advanced one and I like to, in my inventory, separate out what goes where. So like these are smelting ones, I'm gonna put it over here. And then we have the raw advanced one right here. So I'm not gonna get the silicon one just yet, but for the now, we have everything that it needs to make a crafter except for the fact that, you know, we can't smelt things down. That's okay, because we'll worry about that later. So I'm gonna put all the basic crafting ones in here, things that are just simple. And as we see, this is full, which is fine, because now I should be able to request everything as long as it has all the materials. So what I can do is I can come in here and I can go to display and switch this to craftables. Now you could just search for it at the top and it'll show it. So if I click on crafter here and I click start, if I have everything, it'll let me click start, which I do. So if I click this button, it'll go through over here. You can actually look at it through the crafting monitor when it is crafting, and then it should make us a crafter. So once that's done, if we come back over here and type in crafter, it made us a crafter. Sweet. And we're actually going to specifically use this crafter to be set up with a furnace. So we're just gonna go ahead and make ourselves a furnace and kind of upgrade it a little bit. Okay, so basic furnace, iron furnace, gold, diamond, emerald, obsidian. Ah, we're gonna need some magma creams, netherite, and some blocks so we could make ourselves another alumodium furnace. Cool. I'd also like the factory augment here, which is pretty easy to make. And the speed augment's pretty nice to have too. So the way I'm actually gonna do this is pretty simple. I'm gonna put the furnace up here and it will need some kind of power. I've gotta make myself another point here, but that's perfectly fine. And then up top, I'll throw this on top. And then inside, I'm gonna add these two upgrades and then connect to my network. I'm gonna turn on auto split and we'll do input on the left, then we're gonna put output on the right. So with our crafter, I want this to point towards our furnace. So if I right click on the furnace, it's not gonna work, but we want this to point directly towards the furnace. I wanna get this on the side. So if I come over here and place it like this, now the crafter is pointed towards the furnace. That's what I want. It needs to connect to our system. So I'm gonna need some kind of cable here. I'm gonna put this right here. And then now I need an importer. So with your importer, you wanna stick this on the side of your furnace like this and then make this go up. So what this does right now is that it's basically saying that the furnace will input items on the left and will output them on the right automatically. The importer will pull it into our system whenever we need it. But to tell the system that we want to craft something specific, all we have to do is put in some crafting recipes in here. So any of our smeltables like these right here, if we just stick these inside of here, this now our system should be able to know how to make that. So if I come over here and go to craftables and say, I want to make a basic processor here. If it knows how to make all of it, it will craft it, then put it in the smelter and then output it. So there we go, see how quickly that was? And now it made us one of those raw basic processors. Very simple. So whatever we need smelted can automatically be smelted here if we wanted it to. So a perfect example of this is if I wanted something like glass. If I type in glass, I hit R here, and then I get the recipe for smelting sand down. This right here is a perfect example. If I click here, make sure it's not set to exact and stick this in the crafter. Now my system will know how to make glass, which makes it where I should be able to craft a ton of these patterns. See, as long as I have the recipes for these things, this now has to craft 384 quartz enriched iron. And it's also going to use the glass, which I already have some glass smelted. So if I click this, it'll start beep booping, ba beeping. If I come over here and look, this is the crafting monitor and it'll show you basically how it's going through and how slow it is because it's relatively slow. 
And that's why there's upgraded stuff. You know what? I actually want this over there. Let's push this back over here. This is a bad idea to keep it over there. So what's cool about this is that your crafting monitor over here will show you the crafting things that are happening. If you wanted to cancel these things, you didn't want them to be made. You can just click cancel here. And the crafting manager allows you to see all of your pattern recipes inside of here. So like your furnace right here, if you had a smelting recipe that you made, you could just stick it inside of this crafting manager and just go about your day. It's pretty cool. So now I'm actually going to get the recipes to go up. This is what I suggest everybody do in the beginning is just take these recipes, make the recipes to make the higher stuff. So we have iron crafter, gold crafter here. And there are some recipes that we don't actually know here. Like we don't know. We do know how to make chests. We just don't have the place for it. But I think we have enough chests. Should have enough chests inside of here. Yeah, we we're fine. We have gold blocks. We don't know how to make these processors here. So we're going to go ahead and get the recipes for both of these. And then in our crafting manager, I can actually just stick these, the smelting ones in here and that's nice i'm going to take the pattern one out right now because i don't think i need it for now and if you see something like this pattern right here this pattern says uses exact mode i don't want to do that so this is how to craft this when we come over here make sure it's set to not set to ex exact because then that can make it bad you don't want that we're going to need another basic crafter so i'm just going to go ahead and request for five of these and see if we can make it, it says it can so let's see if it makes it there's one. Let's go ahead and place this sucker down so that way we can have more room to make things. And then we can continue making more of the recipes for the crafter. And this recipe calls for netherite, which obviously we're going to need to be able to know how to make the scraps, the gold into netherite. And then also it'll ask for these blocks. I've already got a couple of blocks stored inside of here for diamonds and stuff, but it doesn't hurt for my crafters to know how to make netherite blocks. If we stick all these in here, I should now see them inside of here. So if I type in netherite, it, I want to know if I can make myself a netherite crafter. And it'll show you all the things that you're missing to make this crafter. So it doesn't actually know how to make my raw improved processors. It doesn't know how to make crafting tables. And it doesn't know how to make blocks of iron. Just for now, we can actually just make ourselves some blocks of iron. And I do want this recipe for the raw improved one. So we're going to need this one. And then we're going to need the smelting recipe as well. Now that we've made us some, we should be able to come over here, click on netherite crafter, click this, and then let's see how long it takes to make it. Just watch it craft and it should be done. So we should have ourselves a netherite crafter in here. Now you might not expect this, but if I put a netherite crafter down, it's huge. It's got a massive storage. I think you could put speed upgrades in here, but it goes 125 times the speed of just regular crafters. So now I'm just going to take all these recipes out and I can actually do this inside of my crafting manager and just, sh oh, we don't want the furnace ones. We can come over here and scroll here and just put this in here like this. I wish I'd have known about this thing before, especially in my speed run. Now I can just take these two crafters right here, break them, and we're going to need to move this crafter. Stick it here, and there we go. Put all of our crafting recipes in here. We have a netherite crafter, which is pretty nice. This works a whole lot faster. So remember how I said that we had all those things for chest? If I come over here and type in 64 and click start, if I click it, it'll just start making it, and it's done already much faster. I also want to upgrade this crafter here as well, but I want to talk about something very important with this so that people understand about this because I don't think people actually know this and I think it's important to talk about. So the way refined storage is crafting, auto crafting works or the crafters in general works. So the name of the crafter, it's not like it's actually got like this hard coded function that I understand. This is from, from my understanding. I could be completely wrong in this sense, but this is how it's always been explained to me. Basically, the crafter just looks for an inventory in front of it so this furnace has an inventory slot and then it puts the items inside of it and when the furnace is done and whatever inventory says hey i converted this item you gave me into the item you wanted the crafting system checks out it says okay say we finished that crafting the, ho the whole entire crafting thing so that's important to know first i'm going to make myself another one of these netherite crafters see we're missing some netherite scraps and that's kind of important for now we can get all that ancient debris out of here and just smelt it down i know it's going to hurt y'all to see it but we're going to do it we're going to need some upgrades for this let me make some patterns real quick for that this is what ends up happening what's going to end up happening is that you're going to be like oh let me get a pattern for that let me get a pattern Pattern for that so I'm gonna make all of these patterns real quick so that way I can teach my system how to make it and then if I come over here and just put all these in here now and I go over here and type in stack upgrade if I click this to make one it'll automatically make one now if I come over here and do speed upgrade if I want to make three of these I can go ahead and craft these now because it already knows how to craft it and now inside of this importer I can just do this and it'll get rid of everything in here now I should be able to make a netherite crafter wait for it bam netherite crafter and this is going to replace this crafter right here. So this is where we get we get to have some fun. So I'm going to go ahead and make myself a giant diamond chest here with this massive inventory. I'm going to explain why. 
I'm gonna put this crafter right on the side pointing towards this chest. And now it just says oak diamond chest. We'll connect this crafter like this, and then I'll plug in all of the things, all the patterns that I had that were for smelting. So essentially what refined storage does is it looks for an inventory to put things in. So now let's test it. So if I come over here and let's say I want some sand made, if I come over here, or some glass rather, let's say I want some glass made. I come in here and I click glass, I click 64 and I click start. What's gonna happen is it's gonna put this sand in here. And what I wanna do is I wanna make sure auto input is on here and it's gonna take all of that and take it away. If I look in here, the crafting monitor says the recipe is complete because we just made 64 brand new sand. So now if I wanted to make 10 of these basic processors, like click this button, this is where it's gonna start smelting. It's gonna put it in this chest. This chest is automatically gonna import into here and it's gonna go into our system and the crafting job will be done. The reason why this is important is because sometimes this stuff will get hung up and sometimes your auto crafting isn't gonna work like you want to. So just keep in mind that it's basically looking at the inventory and certain upgraded crafting and stuff like this are actually going to go faster depending on how many upgrade slots there are. So like netherite crafters and stuff will actually go faster the more inventory spot or slots there are, depending on how big the space is in front of it. That's important to note. See, current speed limited by oak diamond chest is 108 times. That one's 125 because it's not connected. So just to demonstrate this, if I were to break this and then break this and my wall on accident and we place this beside it, just like we did, you see how it says current speed limited by the automotive furnace six times. That's why it's important to set it up like I was saying. Chest, crafter, I think you could upgrade the chest to a netherite chest and then it'll go faster. Let's test it. Let's see how much faster if it holds it. Yep, now it's got the fastest speed that it can go. This is important because let's say if I wanted to, I, I have so much iron, I don't care for it to be doubled or tripled or not. Let's come over here and grab the iron ingot recipe real quick. So smelting here, we go find our raw iron get the recipe and then come over here and stick it in here. If I wanted to smelt all 132,000, maybe not 132,000, okay? Maybe, maybe not that much. Oh, did I even put the right recipe in there? Oh, I gotta put all of them in there. Oh, my bad. All right, we put that pattern inside of here and we come over here and we do control shift. So we, I'm just so you know, I don't know if I've said that or not. You hit control shift and then click left click and it'll give you the inventory. So let's say I have 132,000 raw iron. Let's say I wanted to make 50,000, just smelt 50,000 iron right now. If I click start, it's going to matter how fast this is. It'll matter how many it can put in here. It'll matter how much it can import at a time. And as you see, we're still going through 47,000 right now. And its speed is occupied in depending on how many slots that you have from the, the chest here, which is important. What we can do here is we can come over here and see if it'll accept these speed upgrades. So let's see, if I put these speed upgrades in here, does it work faster? Currently limited by the oak netherite chest, but as we see, it's going in there pretty fast, which is kind of dangerous because this is not outputting fast enough. Well, maybe we're gonna go ahead and cancel that and then it's just gonna go, oh, that's so beautiful oh my god look at that oh that's some visual asmr right there now we just smelted ourselves way more iron down and it's based on the speed of this chest instead so some of these are actually not worth being in here so if i take them out all the way until i can get to the yep so it only needs one speed upgrade so the bigger the inventory the faster these guys will go so why exactly did i want this well we can actually set up auto smelting auto everything with refined storage we can set up or doubling or tripling we can set up making mechanisms things and that's actually what we're gonna do we're gonna do a little bit of auto crafting magic over here so we can have some recipes going and i'll even do this for power and bigger reactors and all of these different things if i have the recipes for them i don't have to constantly be in a crafting grid to craft them which makes things a whole lot easier future alfred here i have to stop the video right here because if i don't well it's kind of already 30 minutes and uh i know this episode might have been tough for a lot of you because uh, even editing it i was like blaze it's just focus what are you doing i'm like all right guys here's the first thing you gotta do places blocks on wall trust me i understand so if some of y'all get frustrated and you're trying to learn how to do these things but you see me being adhd let me know if you guys want some like timestamps and stuff in the chat or better yet if you would like some shorts tutorials like if you would like oh hey alfred can you explain this section in one minute for me in a short i'll do that too screw it i'll just do whatever just let me know in the comments below just to do a test 
If you made it through the end of this 30 minutes, I want you to put in the chat, in, in com, uh, well, in the chat, Lost, what is this, Twitch? In the comments, I would like to see the secret code, chicken nuggets. If you put that in the comments, I'll know that you watched all the way through and I appreciate you for it. You're amazing. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, hit subscribe. And on the next episode, I will show you guys exactly how I set up this mechanism stuff behind me and probably how to make this room a little bit better and how I made it look a little bit better. So if you guys are interested in all that, be ready for next episode. I also got some surprises this week. As always, thank you guys for watching and stay safe, stay sexy, stay beautiful. And until next time, bye! Bye!